everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show. And I have the wonderful Amanda Russ, the owner-operator, and as we were just joking a little bit ago, head busser, head dishwasher, all the above, right? Yes, I am. Of Pomodori Restaurant. And um, welcome, I'm so excited to have you Thank here. Thank you so much, I'm so glad and to be here. It's always great to see another um, woman in this field, because it's a tough field for us to be in. I it think. is, yes <laughs> ma'am, I would agree with that, yes ma'am. But you are making it, and um, actually, you have just gone through a whole renovation, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, we have. We're about to start our third year, and we thought we'd do it with a new coat of paint. Yeah, absolutely. And a little bit more than a new coat of yes, paint, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we wish it was that easy. It was just yes, a coat of paint. Yes, we do. <laughs> but now you're going to share with us um, actually one of your most popular appetizers. And um, the name of it, because I tried saying it before and I butchered it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's called the Melanzane Napoleone. Melanzane Napoleone. You got it. Perfect. <laughs> Like I'm seven tries. Yeah, exactly. beautiful. Um, so you're actually going to show us, and some of it you can't do here, but we're going to go through and teach you something here, guys. And that's that's exactly right. So we're going to take this beautiful eggplant here, and we're going to just cut off the ends. We're going to grab a peeler and just start peeling away. And because you don't want to keep that, you know, some people keep the outside on. It just they do. It really is uh, for most people a matter of taste. Right. Um, right. In Italy, they can keep it on because it's a much thinner skin. Actually, gotcha. it this is a tends to be thick and fibrous which doesn't normally taste as good. Right. Um, if you're baking it in something like a ratatouille or something like that, it's it's really not that deep to leave it on there. You're, right. you're not going to taste it. It's Take going that. to tenderize it It'll, anyway. So. If you're in that process of where you're baking it and slow cooking it. Correct. Yes, gotcha. ma'am. So we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of thinly slice it, probably about a half of an inch. Okay. Um, just to make sure. I guess the most important thing in in frying or baking anything is making sure that your cuts are the same, so that gotcha. they cook at the same rate. Not you don't want super thin ones or you super don't want thi super thin or super thick. Exactly. Gotcha. Or if you do, that's perfectly fine. But you want to make sure that both of them are the same. Are the same. Yep. Equal size. Great tip. Great so tip. So we're gonna go ahead and dredge it in just a little bit of flour here. And what your dredging process is, um, dry. What? Dry, wet, dry. Okay, gotcha. Always dry, wet, dry. And if you can try and keep one hand wet and one hand dry, go for it. Right. I never make it. <laughs> never happens for me. No matter how hard I try, <laughs> it's it's a mess and I'm going for a manicure afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So, so there it is again in the wet. Right, so right. we're going to, we got a little egg there. Yes. We're going to just go ahead and roll it around in the panko. Perfect. And at this point, we would drop these straight into a fryer. Yeah, um, super, super Right, so easy. this is what, yeah, That's and that's what would make it so... Um, is that what makes it crispy? Is that that is actually um, we, we kind of skipped a step here. We soak our eggplant in water. Ah. We slice it and soak it in water. Um, one of the tips that my chef gave me when I lived in Italy and studied in Calabria was by soaking it in water. Actually, when it hits the uh, the oil, egg, eggplant is a sponge. Ah. So it is essentially going to absorb all of the water, and when it hits the hot oil, it's going to shed all of that and okay. not absorb the grease. It's going to create a barrier. And so it's not so. So it doesn't get soggy and yeah. it doesn't get greasy. I love it. So soaking the eggplant in water before you do it. That's what I learned. But the I Italians it. are crazy. I feel like. <laughs> but that's why I love Italians. When in Rome, type of a thing. Exactly. So at this point, we would drop that in a fryer probably for okay. about three minutes. Um, okay. I would say, you know, if you're looking for a birthday gift for somebody. Right. and you don't mind going a little bit conventional right, and, right. and getting them a dust buster type of a thing, yeah. <laughs> grab them an electric fryer because you can use it, you really can use it for everything. Absolutely. And it's temperature controlled. You don't have to mess with a candy thermometer. It really it's has made cooking a lot easier It at home, really has. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I agree with that. Okay, so, so at these, this point, this is in magic land. <laughs> magical, magical fried eggplant. Love um, it. So we're going to start with uh, with the eggplant. We're just going to build. It's a Napoleone. It's a stack. Okay. So we're going to put a little fresh mozzarella on there. And the nice. fresh mozzarella. And I like that it's a nice thick piece. It's a piece. nice thick piece. Nice, moist, thick piece. And then we're going to go another eggplant. We're going to rock a little bit more mozzarella. And here's where we start to get colorful. Love we it. take uh, we take everything. Every ingredient has its own flavor. So we right. salt and pepper everything. Everything, yep. Key. So that individually you can taste them. You're not looking for anything or lacking anything. So we're going to go ahead and, and put a little, we'll do it this way. We're going to put a little bit of basil with okay. the tomato. And we're going to go one more piece of basil with another tomato. Oh, wow, that looks gorgeous. So you've got that nice, it's yeah. tall, it's got texture, it's right. got a lot of bright colors. We're going to go I mean, ahead. I would have been good even on the first layer. Do you know what I mean? I know, like, I know. So but great we're Italian. Yeah. I mean, we go big or go Let's home. See, yeah. <laughs> you know, so we're just going to go ahead and just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. A squeeze bottle is a your squeeze, best friend, yes. <laughs> just so you know. And then from the oilery, we always use their 25-year balsamic. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Uh, pardon my finger, this is actually my, my one from home. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're just going to go ahead and give a nice little drizzle gorgeous. there for a, a sweet thickness. And voila, you have it. 
That is, and now you serve this every, this is really beautiful. Thank and you. It, and you made it look so simple. It was, uh, didn't you, you see? I mean, she <laughs> makes it look so simple, but I have a feeling it's not that simple, especially if you're trying it at home, so definitely head over to her place to try it. But um, Please. now tell me uh, a little bit about um, what's going on as far as in the next few weeks that you have, especially with your new opening and everything sure. like that, or reopening, I should say. Um, you have Restaurant Week coming up. We do, yes ma'am. We're actually going to be participating in Restaurant Week. We're really excited about it. We're going to do a nice uh, four-course menu. Nice. Beautiful. Um, yep, we're going to do, it's uh, going to be $35 a person, so really nice, beautiful pastas that we're making in-house. And is this something, um, now should we be calling it, well first tell me where are you located at and just the hours of operation, just to get that out to our viewers sure. so they can start writing it down and putting it in their day planner. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> we're open Monday through Saturday. Okay. We Good. begin dinner at 5 o'clock. We're dinner only. Dinner only. We guys. generally serve or we would take our last reservation around nine o'clock. Okay, so um, th it is something that you, because it is, how, now how many people does it seat about? We only seat 40 people. Where yeah, we have so 11 tables and uh, luckily we have we have great guests who like to come and sit with us every week. Yeah, so absolutely. we would love to have you just give us a phone call. We'll, we'll be happy to and get And make you. that reservation because it's definitely, especially Please. during restaurant week, people are going to want to be checking out his end with the renovation. Yes, sure. ma'am. Checking out the new digs. Um, so please make sure you guys check them out and um, you know, they're right there on New Orleans Road. Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? That's exactly okay. it. And you can enjoy beautiful um, appetizers like this and of course the entrees. I can't wait to see what else she has on her plate out there. So <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Make sure you check them out and we'll be back in just a moment.